face. So today I am just going to do a quick how I do my brows video. It will, hopefully it will be quick, I'm not terribly sure. I'm not an expert, this is just how I do my brows. So it might not work for everyone but at the minute this is what works for me. I really do need to get them shaped properly because this is them without anything on. I mean, I've already been through and got rid of all the strays from underneath where my arch should be. Um, again, I have no idea really what I'm actually doing, so <laughs> I kind of just go with it. I'm thinking about getting HD brows at some point, but I don't know when I'll be able to afford that, so we'll see. Uh, I take the little spoolie end of my MAC Velux brow liner and sort of brush through them to sort of straighten them out so I go upwards here and then down I'll take the other end which is obviously the pencil this is in the colour strawberry blonde I honestly think it's a little bit too red so I just try and first of all fill in the line My mirror's here so I'm looking, trying to see in that direction. Also get it in the camera too. And then I take the top and try and get a straightish line there too. And then I take this side. follow it down. Like I said, I'm not professional. I always get it wrong. This is a little bit too thick. Yeah. So I always end up having to sort of correct it a little bit. But that's the general shape. And then I'll fill in part of the front. And sometimes this is all I do, and that will be it, like the finished brow. I mean, it's not that much different, but it's just more defined. Sometimes I will go through again with, this is an MUA palette, I Pro Brow Ultimate Eyebrow Kit. It is very old, faded, um, it, it's a bit like the browsing, it's really dirty, I do apologise. But comes with tiny tweezers which are awful and also comes with a tiny little angled back brow brush so then sometimes I'll go over in the centre and at the edge here with the lighter colour just to sort of give it a bit more depth so sometimes I'll only use this sometimes if I want a more natural sort of brow I'll only use this, the powder from this um, and sometimes I'll do a bit of both, just if I feel like it. Um, and then I'll tidy it up with my MAC Studio Finish Concealer. And I should use a brush for this, but I don't. So, because I'm lazy and have to find my brushes. Um, so I just sort of use my finger to clean up the lines. Sometimes it smudges a little bit when, when I've been trying to correct it so I just do that and a little bit underneath to the fine just for blending it in and there it is and you can kind of see <laughs> it looks so ridiculous with only one brow done. The trickiest part I find is getting them both to match. So then I'll just do the same with the other brow. It's much easier and much more precise to use a harder pencil. I did use before 
the MUA brow pencil, which is only a pound. It's very cheap, but it's very soft and very gel based, I think, and it kind of it's just stuck my eyebrows together and made them look very, really, really just, they looked greasy, which sounds disgusting, but they just looked like they'd been waxed on. And then afterwards, go through with the brush again, just to smooth it out a little bit. So that's sort of just how I fill in my brows. They are very much um, quite a defined scouse brow at the moment. <laughs> so I definitely need to find a less red toned pencil. So if anyone has any suggestion, suggestions for that, that would be very much appreciated. I love that. I love you forever. So that's it. And I look forward to seeing you next week. The giveaway winner will be announced tomorrow. So I'll send whoever wins a message in the morning. And so that's it really. And thanks for watching guys. Bye.